so guys welcome back to my channel and uh, i want us to agree on something or encourage one another on something so today i'm going to talk about something which is very essential when it comes to farming or smart farming depending on which term do you want to use so i am a farmer in a certain location and because i'm a good farmer and i want to fetch a lot of income from my farm i go for certified seeds which are uh, released and regulated by the body which is uh, standing in for the seed production in a country i've gone for the seeds which are perfect good for my location i've done my soil analysis i know the ph of my soil i know the condition of my soils i know that my soil has good uh, nutrients that are required by that crop to grow i've done all the necessary uh, requirements steps for me to uh, fetch optimum so i've uh, uh, plant my seeds or planting material and i've also followed a uh, gap procedure good agricultural practices that are being um, adv advised by those agricultural extension officers and also agronomists depending on which body which usually um, advocate for this gap practices i've done all the necessary but i still experience disease and pest on my farm then i have neighbors who are doing the same kind of farming same kind of crops and then they don't go for certified or clean seeds or clean planting material they also don't know the condition of their soils they don't know even the ph of their soils the nutrients of their soils and they are doing the same kind of farming like me so this is what happened if your neighbors who are doing the same crops as yours doing the same farming as yours don't go for clean seeds or clean planting materials they might cross over to your place because we understand for uh, the process of uh, crops or anything to be uh, produced to the final product they there is also what there is also there is always what we call the uh, pollination and when cross pollination happens from my farm to you, the farm of my neighbors who are not practicing what is required. Pest can cross over to my side. Also wind is another factor that can bring in pest to my side. So this is always uh, why we are encouraging people from certain community, certain area of locality to practice clean seed and quality or clean material which are being certified by the regulatory body and which are being encouraged to be uh, planted so that we avoid this uh, disease spread from one farm to another. So if your neighbor, if you are able to advise your neighbor, do it so that you are safe on your side also for the disease to uh, like um, be spread because i'm the only one who is doing clean seed certified seed which are being required by the regulatory body i'm in danger because their seeds can will be moving from like from one farmer to another and then it may reach on my farm and we all experience disease on our farms and my crops suffer and production go low yeah my yields start becoming pathetic and i'm i'm unable to to what to get profit or even to be able to get the money that I use in farming. They might be practicing the good agricultural practices, everything that is being encouraged, but 
seeds always become a disaster if you use unclean seed and certified seeds which are being which have uh, gone through the regulatory body they have been checked in terms of disease and pest we are we won't be able to, to get rid of pests and diseases so we still experience loss in terms of yields in terms of everything so as farmers we need to encourage one another to go for certified seeds cleaning clean materials before they do their farming so that also as as their neighbors we are able to be safe because if your neighbor is not safe neither or you as is safe because we always uh, there is always a way that those diseases and pests will reach to your farm so let's always encourage one another to use good seeds cleaning clean materials also go for soil testing so that we can understand the situation of our soil in terms of the diseases are there diseases present in your soil so that you can start treating it or treating them so that you can start maintaining and managing them so that you get rid of those diseases even and then again you know soil testing will help you to understand the pH of your soil and also the nutrients which are there the nutrients which are lacking so that you can supplement so always encourage one another to use certified seed clean seeds or clean materials planting materials so that all of us we are safe and we are able to produce optimum get our expenses back and also get our profit and stand as a community with with improved livelihoods because of what we get from our farm so if you didn't know at least you know and um, it is good to practice the knowledge or the skills bye bye